Hi, I'm Jeff Brzezzi. Welcome to Season 2 of Closet Factory's Operation Reorganization. Okay guys, let's go. Let's go, meeting time. Come on. Seven o'clock, let's rock and roll. It's always rock and roll. Get the show on the road. All right, all right, all right. Good morning. Hey, Vicky. Good morning. Good morning, Vicky. Good morning. How's everybody this morning? Doing yes. fantastic. Pretty good. Good deal. Good. good deal. Thank you, Vicky. Good. How did the balloon go yesterday? Went rather well. Uh, the client was really pleased, and um, yeah, it went really nice. We were working with the contractor. How did that go? Oh yeah, she uh, the customer really liked uh, the, the uh, product we put in. You know, as opposed to like what the contractor was going to put in. So. Okay, because I know he wanted to put his stuff in. He was right. a little bit disappointed, but I think in the end he saw that our product was oh, yeah. a lot better. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they saw the, the just the custom um, work and just the, how everything can be just changed. Okay, Nick, any any comments on that? No, right, that one did. It went real smooth. Okay, Mike. Uh, today you guys start Sasser Newton, which Jeff has the plans there. I right. Have them, but... He's already given me the plans for that. Yeah. Sasser, is that the builder? Yes, Eric Sasser is, um, I'm on the board of TBA with Eric Super Guy. This is the first job that we'll be doing for him. Um, we're doing eight spaces in the house, including a pantry um, and a large walk-in master with an island. We're sending all three of you guys because we want to we want to try to knock this out. We've already done the secondary clauses in the pantry. Everything's been remeasured. Um, it's a unique space. It's 12-foot ceilings. And um, we've done 10 foot panels. It's all custom, custom boring. We have wardrobe lifts, slide out pants racks. There's mirrors over every drawer bank, baskets, hampers, custom boring. Mike is making a frame mirror out of the same material, mm -hmm. uh, the Tenino oak, that um, the client really wanted. So that'll be a unique feature in that closet, which will look really nice. There's no crown. Um, but it is going up, like I said, 10 foot. So I need you guys to really check out the boring on that and make sure everything is tight. There's a double jewelry drawer, a lot of belt and tie racks, just a lot of bells and whistles, and we really want to do a good job and make sure. So we're going to have to hold each other on our shoulders to reach the top probably, of the panel. Probably, probably. Michael will be the ground guy. Yeah, he'll be the he's, ground guy. He's, he's, you know, he's the base. Lifter. He's yeah. been working he's out. Base. He's been at Flex. <laughs> right. he's, uh, right. he, he didn't do the biggest loser contest year, this year, but he's still. I he think, didn't want to win it again. He didn't want to win it again. He got tired of I think after a couple of years. Somebody else a chance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And on that note, uh, everybody work safe today. Let's take care of uh, Lucy and Steve Newton and, uh, and our client. All right. Sounds Thank good. Install her sheet. Okay. So All right. Out. Cool. Okay. My name is Lucy Newton. And what's exciting about today is the closet that's being installed is in my master after installing eight of the other units, Closet Factory is installing the ninth, and most important, our master closet. When I went in to see Jeff and I started telling him about my husband is a dresser, he likes to dress nice, he heard me out, and then what I was looking for when I went in to talk to him was a, a closet that was big enough to accommodate both my husband and I. 
because I have to share. I don't have my own and he's not gonna have his own. So when you have to share, you have to be able to have everything in its own place, whether it be to go to the gym, we need our gym clothes in there, whether it be to go out to dinner without bumping and crowding each other and causing more of a mess than of a dress up. When I went back again and I met with Tammy, Tammy brought it in, helped me bring in some of the emotional aspect as a woman. So they were very, very good. So we are here today at the home of Steve and Lucy Newton. This is a custom built home by Eric Sasser of Sasser Construction. And he's been building custom homes since 1986 and is a fantastic builder in this area. And we're very fortunate to be able to work with Eric and his clients. A lot of people have um, asked us and sent emails in about how we actually design and you know the whole process of how the, the the space is created using the client's input and our expertise so what i'd like to do is take into the space this is the master closet um, so if you'll come on in take a look at this we had a lot of space to work with in this closet and the client really wanted to maximize all of the space in the closet and if you notice there are 12 foot ceilings in here and Lucy wanted to go up as high as she could. And on the right hand side, we have a vaulted ceiling that comes down to basically 10 foot. So we worked off of a 10 foot top line and we brought the closet all the way around except for this area over here where there's an obstruction um, that we had to work under. And Lucy's vision for this space was to use every inch of the space in the closet. Uh, that we could possibly use. So there are some really interesting things that we've done in this closet, including an island. Uh, there are wardrobe lifts. Since the, the, um, the closet goes up 10 foot, uh, we were able to uh, use wardrobe lifts so she can pull the wardrobes down and hang clothes that she doesn't use seasonally, but that she can always have the clothes up there when she needs them. Um, there are double jewelry drawers. There are pants racks pull out pants racks for Steve. Um, their hangers are, are specific to the pants rack, so you know, a lot of people, you have to look for hangers or a specific type of hanger where with the pants racks, you don't have to worry about that. Um, we have baskets, uh, we have hampers in the, in the design, um, belt and tie racks, there's a wall mirror that we designed specifically for this space. So there's some really cool things associated with this closet. And basically we had to design around all of the obstruction, the ceiling heights, and the width and depth of the room. Uh, we're here at the Newton house today. Um, we're gonna go ahead and install the master closet today. We've already done nine of the other closets in the house. Uh, this one will be the biggest one by far. But the good thing is we already had a chance to um, stock it up when we were doing some previous uh, install, so everything's in there and ready to go. We just gotta go in there and knock it out now. Yeah, and this house is actually constructed by uh, Sasser Construction, so it's gonna be really cool to uh, you know finish up the actual master closet for them. It's gonna be really cool. How you doing? I'm Mike. I'm the operations manager here at the Closet Factory. It's, it's actually a, a huge job. It was 40 sheets of material. It was 10 foot material, special made with uh, antique white laminate, pressure treated laminate on both sides. I'm um, getting ready to flush cut the base. That way we can take out exactly what we need and it kind of prevents us from having to do any extra trim work at the end of the job. Now these are about uh, the tallest panels we can do in one shot. So, as you can see, these things, we got, we got a 12 foot ceiling, we got 10 foot panels. So, it's about as high as you can get without actually stacking on top of itself. So, this particular closet right here on the very top, it's got some pull down wardrobe lifts. So, that's gonna be really cool uh, to install. And you'll be able to see them how, how those work. You just pull it down, put up your, uh, seasonal clothes and whatnot, and you just let it go back up and it stays there for storage. All right, now I'm just bringing in the panels um, for the closet, just stack them all up, um, you know, where they go, and then we'll spread out the, 
the ESs, and then we can just start building it. What was cool about the job is when we did the drawers, the shelving, and all that, all we did was uh, secondary bores basically for the shelf itself, for the drawers itself. So when you look at the job, you don't see shelf holes, bore holes, any extra holes that you're not, you don't need. Those ESs, they have a special bore because um, our hampers only come in one size uh, width-wise. So if the cabinet that's going in is wider than that, we have to put a divider panel to, to attach the slide so that the um, hamper will still fit in. Now we're down to the accessories. We've got the structure up. Everything looks good. Nick's gonna level it out and uh, anchor it to the wall. And I'm gonna start with the accessories, putting up the uh, the rods and the uh, baskets and whatnot, start getting some drawers in. So it's looking pretty good. Everything worked out real good. We don't have to adjust for anything, which is a good thing. Um, and yeah, now it's just finishing it up. By now you're familiar with all the Closet Factory team players and how they contribute to the success of Closet Factory each and every day. But you probably didn't realize that they have a life outside of Closet Factory. So I'd like to introduce you to a new segment of our show, Behind Closet Doors. Hey guys, I'm Juan and welcome to my home. Yeah, so welcome to my home. Uh, I'm Juan Lagos. I've been installing for the Closet Factory for 15 years. And during that time, I've always been a part of a band or somewhere musically that's where my head's been at on the weekends especially uh, just something like I like to do to unwind so I wanted to show you a little bit of what I do so come on well being in a heavy metal band uh, I have to keep my chops up and I have to keep my practice routine going uh, so this is why I've got a little kit here at home uh, enables me to do that and any kind of ideas that I might have for the band or maybe a song or anything that we're writing. Um, it helps me come up with uh, little fills and things like that for the band. So this is what I do when I come home. I like 80s rock music, heavy metal music is one of my guilty pleasures. I don't care how much spandex or how much hairspray was involved. It was uh, the time when I, when, at the age that I was growing up, you know, listening to that stuff. That's all I wanted to do. We got together and we all had the same common idea in mind. We were like, dude, why don't us three? Pretty technical, we're pretty good. We should give this a go. We should give it a go. And so, you know, for a year now, we've been, you know, it's been really, really cool having, having just us three in the band doing it. And so I think we, we couldn't have done it with any, any other people. The Closet Factory is always, I mean, it seems like ever since I've been in Virginia, that's all I've known as far as employment was. But what's cool about it is that it's given me the opportunity to do these kind of things. I consider it a very unique position that I get to do something that is very close to me and, and that I really appreciate, you know, doing. <laughs> Some more milk. Just a 
anytime we have a big job, it's easy to forget some of the small stuffs. So just double and triple checking yourself to make sure everything is here when it goes out to do the job. You know, the installers have everything they need. That's the biggest aspect of a job like that. cool little uh, feature with this closet is that we're incorporating the wood grain uh, melamine with the solid color. So once everything uh, gets put together, it's going to transition real nice and uh, the center island's also got a wood grain feature uh, on it as well with the tops and everything. So I think it's going to really blend good with the, with the color of the unit. The reason Michael is just getting here is because he just woke up. Now, <laughs> I, we don't know, I don't have any idea where he's been the last six hours. All I know is that he's finally showed up and he's apparently ready to work. I can see he's got a little bit of energy, so I don't know what he did before. I really don't care, but I think he's gonna go ahead and pull this thing together. Thank you, Michael. Certainly, now I made sure that the other units that were previously installed are now up to snuff. As you can see, all the caulk and whatnot and wood, wood fill that's on my hands. And the result of that is a uh, bed head. And uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So cool. <laughs> these are the wardrobe lifts. No, they're really good for these tall units, so you don't need to use a ladder. And uh, especially for uh, if you're a wheelchair bound, there's a rod in the center you grab and you pull the rod down to you, remove the clothes and let it go and it just hydraulically lifts right back up in place. This right here is a Closet Factory ex exclusive. It's a double-decker jewelry drawer. What's cool about this, you don't just have one jewelry drawer. Voila, you got two. So, makes it really cool for uh, inconvenient uh, to store jewelry and every, you know, watch and stuff like that. But, this is just what we call a double-decker jewelry drawer. And you use just one box, but we're able to fit it in a way where you got two inserts in there. Is it beautiful or what? Look at this. Look at this. So let's start by looking at the island. This is, um, I love the island. You know, it's nice when a closet has enough wow. space in it for an island because it just adds wow. so much. You know, you have the space to sit down here and try on your shoes or put your shoes Yay. on. Um, we put this raised panel on the back of it, which I love the color. It's fantastic. And of course, down here, we have this sure. really deep drawer for blankets or for thicker items that you want to put in socks. there. Socks. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever you <laughs> want to put in like there. Socks. Yes. Yeah. And then over here, this is Steve. Of course, Steve's side. He has a jewelry insert in the top that he can put his sunglasses, cuff links, watches. I kind of love it. And we have tie racks over here for all his ties. There's about 40. He can hang about 40 ties up here. So he's got plenty of tie storage. Very so I'm excited about him seeing it. A laundry basket down here for him. Very good. Very and then good. over here, of course, we have this long hanging here in this section. And of course, everything is adjustable. So if you want to move the rods or the shelves, very good. All of that can be moved up and down. And then we've got a slide out belt rack from hang his belts on. Love it. And then this is super cool, the um, slide out oh pants racks. Oh gosh, yes. So there are 16 individual hangers for his pants. And He's actually with that it. one, there are 32. So he'll have space for 32 pairs of pants. A rod up here. And of course we did the upgraded round rods, which are just beautiful. These are really nice. 
And then to take advantage of the height, we did the wardrobe lift. Wow. Yeah, so wow. he can hang his, his off-season clothes at the top, or, I mean, he can hang his in-season clothes up there. And it just, Perfect. because of the height, because of the 10-foot panels, we're able to do the wardrobe lift. So he has two of those, oh, so which are really, really nice. And then we have the, the adjustable shelving. Now we did boring all the way down on these, and if you'll just grab a shelf, you can see how easy it is to move. Why don't you try to... Well, what's good, though, is that he's got cowboy boots. Okay. And so we can adjust these. Right. Really, oh, wow. Oh, look at that. Yeah, and then you just move the shelf pins up or down, wherever you want them. You know what I like, Jeff? I like these little things because it, it prevents the shelf from shifting around. Yeah. It just really stabilizes it, keeps it in place. I like that. I'm glad you I noticed like that, that because a lot of times, like, if people have kids, They'll just grab the shelf and oh. it'll come sliding right out. So this keeps the shelf locked in place. It's a great, um, you know, added incentive for the for the shelving. But if Steve needs more shelves, you know, we, all you have to do is call and say, now this is one of our favorite items. This is the valet rod. And this is so cool because you just bring your, your dry cleaning in or what I love it for is just hanging my clothes that I'm gonna wear the next day. You just, oh. you just have them set out so they're here. Um, and I was just thinking about when he has to pack to go out of town, we're getting ready to pack. They, they come in really handy to separate what you're going to take. So then we move to your side. Yay! And of course you designed your side a little differently than Steve's. Um, we didn't do any additional boring on here. And we measured your clothes to make sure that the spacing of the rods would be sufficient for your clothing and then you have your wardrobe lift up here that eliminates the overcrowding of the off-season clothes for me be able to put it up a little higher right. i like that so then your drawer bank of course we designed it exactly the way you wanted it we had the really cool double jewelry drawer oh, yes, that you yes, asked yes. for how cool is that? That's beautiful. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that is really, that's beautiful. So I, I love it. I guess you'll use that for all your earrings and watches. And this is, has ring storage and long necklaces. and So you know. handy, just having everything right there, just, just reachable. It's, I love it. And of course, this area up here. All my handbags, you can see. Handbags, and again, mm -hmm. if you need more shelves, no problem. All of these are adjustable. We did all the boring up here, so you'd have full adjustability and could add shelves you know, whatever you need. So over here, we have the long hanging that you talked about, two sections of long hanging. And again, we didn't do any boring down here because there was no need to since you knew exactly how many long hanging garments you had and how much space you needed. So, but you do have adjustability on the shelves above. And I believe you're gonna put shoes and boxes and, you know. It's good. And then you've got all of this double hanging, just tons of double hanging. Yeah and shelves above. So Lucy, the last thing we have is your uh, full length mirror that we did that you asked for. I was totally surprised by the frame on this mirror. I truly was. I was not expecting it. I just thought a mirror, your basic um, yeah. on the wall mirror. But this frame added so much to it. It's connected with yeah. the island and I love it. We really appreciate having worked with you. It was really, really great. Thank well, it's you. It's been great for us too. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. Gosh. Okay, Lucy, thank, thank you. you. Yay. She came in, she was like, oh wow. She couldn't believe like how, really how big it is. She was really happy with everything. And I think the two-tone color was cool. So turned out good. I'm so happy Mike came out. She was really pleased too that it was all able to be done in a day. Well, we just finished the closet insulation for Steve and Lucy Newton, and the clients were ecstatic, um, which is what we always like to see. The installers did a great job, as they always do, and the designer on this one was really good, and that would be me. So I'll take some of the credit for that. So I'd like to thank Eric Sasser of Sasser Construction for inviting us to do this job for the Newtons. Um, it was a stellar job by Closet Factory, and I'm really pleased with the way it turned out. So now it's on to the next job. Got to get back to the office. If you need a Murphy bed, you call Closet Factory. They'll send one out. You can request one personally. 
the wand will come out, install your Murphy bed, or any other closet or organization needs, they can take care of it for you. And for a limited time, you get a Blood of Babylon <laughs> limited edition shirt and a CD. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs>